people's participation means people joining in the efforts for social development willingly and shouldering their share of work and responsibility it has been observed that schemes of development in which people participate willingly are always more successful sustainable development can be ensured through people's participation the local government bodies motivate people for this kind of work the local government bodies give us many services and facilities that is why we enjoy an enriched social life we must use these facilities with great care we should participate actively in the work of the local government bodies let us study the ways of participation there are many ways in which an individual can participate in the local administration they are as follows identifying local problems we must be aware of the problems that our village or town faces for example a particular village may not have toilets or water supply facilities another town may not have hostel facilities for girl students identifying local problems is being aware of such a problem in cities too we need to identify problems such as those related with pollution transport facilities for education etc and also determine their priorities it is the beginning of participation taking initiative in solving local problems it is not enough to simply identify or be aware of local problems it is also important for people to be able to find solutions to those problems taking the lead in solving local problems is an important way of participation it is expected that solutions to problems related to water scarcity of electricity pollution and transport facilities should be suggested by the citizens themselves we shall now study about vigilance citizens should keep a watch on the working of the local government bodies it is essential to see how much contact the elected representatives maintain with the voters in their ward the good work done by the representatives should be appreciated and all the necessary cooperation should be extended to them at the same time if the representatives neglect their respective wards it should be pointed out to them each voter must exercise his right to vote and elect the right candidate now let us see citizens charter the local administration today must be such that it will satisfy the needs of the citizens concern for their well-being and looking after people's welfare is the main objective of local administration to achieve this objective citizens are endowed with certain rights insisting upon these rights is also an example of participation the rights of citizens with respect to the administration are clearly outlined in the citizens charter coming to the right to information if the governance is open and transparent people participate in it with enthusiasm cooperation and trust between the local bodies and the people increases at the same time people are able to exercise control over the local administration in order to make all this possible and to increase the participation of the public the right to information has been instituted people's participation becomes more effective when they use this right judiciously now we shall study about the use of mass media mass media such as newspapers the radio and the television play an important role in providing information and informing public opinion it has become possible to evaluate the performance of the local bodies through the mass media the media also bring about political education of the masses 
voluntary organizations organizations formed by citizens coming together on their own accord with some particular aim in mind are called voluntary organizations in today's world it is not expected that all development work be done by the government only instead it is expected that the government give support assistance and encouragement to the efforts of citizens working through voluntary organizations encourages the spirit of cooperation amongst the people a feeling of self-reliance is created the tendency to constantly depend on the government decreases some examples of voluntary organizations are women's small savings groups nagari vikas manch and vikas seva society women's small savings groups help women to become financially self-reliant vigilant citizens and efficient local government bodies can change the face of their surroundings